In this video, let's take a look at binding attributes. In Vue, it is possible to bind data to HTML attributes such as ID, class, style, and even Boolean attributes such as disabled for an input. However, we cannot use the mustache syntax for that purpose. Instead, Vue provides another directive, namely the vBind directive. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to add a new data property. Let's call it heading ID, which is equal to the string heading. Now we can bind this property to an HTML elements ID property. So in the template, I'm going to add an h2 tag with the text as heading. And on the element, we use the vbind directive and bind to the id attribute, the property heading id. Let's save the file and head to the browser. You can see the heading element being displayed. If you inspect the element, you can see that the ID is in fact heading. In your application, if you are rendering a list of elements and you want each element to have a unique ID, the vbind directive will definitely help you. Now the vbind directive, as I mentioned earlier, can also be used to bind to Boolean attributes. The behavior though is slightly different. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to create another property is disabled and set it to true. Now we can create a button and set the disabled attribute equal to the is disabled property. So after the heading, a button tag, the text is simply bind and we use the vbind directive to bind to the disabled property, the data property is disabled. Save the file and head to the browser and you can see that the button is in fact disabled. If you inspect the element, the disabled attribute is present. If I now go back to VS Code, change is disabled to false, you can see that the button is no longer disabled. But if you inspect the element, you can see that there is no disabled attribute. So in the case of Boolean attributes where their mere existence implies true, as in the case of the disabled attribute we have just seen, the HTML attribute will not be included in the rendered button element if the is disabled property is false. So binding to attributes such as ID and binding to Boolean attributes. These are the two examples of attribute binding in Vue. Now when building applications, a more common need for attribute binding is binding to the class and style attributes on an element. Let's take a look at that next.